We are practicing an attitude of gratitude today, finding the perfect wine to pair with any Thanksgiving feast. We are here in Alexander Valley at Stamuller Vineyards, Thanksgiving literally right around the corner. A lot of folks at home, they're like, oh my gosh, I got the turkey, check, stuffing, check, pumpkin pie, check. What the heck am I gonna do about the wine? Look at the Thanksgiving dinner. You have a lot of carbs, a lot of heavy carbs. So you'd like to have a nice wine that will balance with the good acidity. So. Uh, we have a nice Zinfandel that has a good um, acidic balance and then also if you're a white wine drinker you want something complex and really elegant to pair with your food so we have a nice uh, Chardonnay. It is very age worthy Chardonnay and very elegant complex would pair very well with Thanksgiving dinner, especially if you're white wine appreciator. So would you pair this, say, with the turkey, or would it go with maybe uh, one of the starters, or the salad? Or um, salad, definitely, with turkey. Um, when we get into the heavier carbs, you you know, like the stuffing, the yams and such, you might want to switch to uh, something red, and again, something that has a good acidic balance. Our Zinfandel uh, is also a small production for us, so I'm showing you some of our artisan-style wines that aren't large productions. It has real nice acidity. It's not high alcohol, so you can maybe enjoy more than one glass with your uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinner. <laughs> it's not a martini's in? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's around 14.4, and it's very nicely balanced. It's not too much of one thing. Really, what stands out about our, all of the Stummeler wines is their nice balance. What would you pair with this in? Oh, well, um, should I say what wouldn't you pair with it? Yeah, <laughs> really with everything. Better question. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you like cranberry sauce, it probably bring out some of the nice fruit in the Zinfandel. Um, again, I mentioned that acid balance. Um, so you want something to really help to cut all that carbohydrate heaviness in there, and the Zinfandel would be nice to go with that. So I think rounding out the entire meal, certainly when you get into the meat of the meal, the turkey. And would either of these go with pumpkin pie? Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> of course they would. Of course. <laughs> Thanksgiving traditions in your house? Anything special you're looking forward to this year? Uh, no, I'm looking forward to getting out of cooking and have somebody else cook for me. I will raise my glass to getting out of cooking Absolutely. and bringing a great bottle of wine. We are here on the patio at Russian Hill Estate Winery. I'm thrilled to be joined by Patrick and John. We're talking about Thanksgiving wines. One of my favorite times of year. Uh, you need to find the perfect wine to go with what is essentially the the most important meal of the year. This is our um, Viognier, uh, which is a white wine that's from the Rhone region, or originally grown in the Rhone region of France. And uh, I've been making this since 2000. And we make a small amount. We made less than 50 or 60 cases of this wine. I like it because it's a very brisk white wine. I also make a Chardonnay, which is a very different style. This is a very clean, crisp. It'll go very, very well, I think, with a Thanksgiving meal. Uh, it should have, a, I think, a broad appeal for those that are uh, looking for a little different white wine. What if, what if they're scared of it because they don't know how to pronounce it? It's, they call it Viognar. Just call it the big V. <laughs> <laughs> the big V, huh? Oh, can you think of a dish, maybe a thanksgiving -y dish that you think this might pair with this Viognier? Well, I think uh, absolutely turkey for, for sure. Meat with not, to be quite honest, not a lot of flavor. It's all the other things that you serve with it that sort of add to the experience. So, so it's perfect with uh, with with the turkey itself. I mean, we pick both of these wines because I think they're both going to be very good with uh, with turkey. Uh, the floral components of this wine, I think, are really what's going to add to like the relishes and things like that. It's got high acidity, like like your cranberry relish would have. Got really nice aromatics. So I think that this is really uh, designed as much for the turkey as for the accompaniments. Well, that's that's really great because some people are scared of red wine, so you give them a white wine option there and you say, hey, look, no fighting at my dinner table, okay? We give you a white and we give you a red. Moving on to the red, I mean, what's Thanksgiving without a Pinot, right? Absolutely. Poultry and Pinot. Yeah. There you go. So this is our estate Pinot Noir, and I think that uh, it'll be a very, very nice uh, uh, match with uh, the turkey or even a ham. If people are doing ham, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, some people do hams, I think that this would be a great wine for it. Yeah, pigs and Pinot, pigs and poultry, right? Absolutely. And, you know, Pinot Noir... It goes with absolutely everything on the plate because there's so many conflicting flavors on the Thanksgiving plate from the cranberry sauce, gravy, stuffing, turkey. 
And I think Pino just is a beautiful accompaniment for it all. Yeah, and you got everything but the kitchen sink on the table there. My mom makes the traditional green bean casserole. Do you guys know what Oh, that? yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little French things. What are those crunchy onions? Does that go with this wine or what? <laughs> Get a bottle of two buck chuck for that, right? <laughs> well, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to insult your mother. But <laughs> yeah, uh, she watches all my videos. She's my biggest fan. <laughs> well, Mom, if you want to serve this Pino with the green bean casserole, have at it because there's no rules in wine. Just drink and eat what you like. Let's raise our glass to traditional and non-traditional Thanksgiving dinners. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving.